So in this video, I want to talk about HDR gaming, but before I talk about HDR gaming, I wanted to say that this video specifically is going to be in a higher resolution than normal because I do want to play with different resolutions. So if you're on YouTube, you may want to check the quality options of this video if you want to try something a little bit more crispier. I am trying different uh, resolutions. If you don't see a higher resolution than 1080p, I do apologize. That means I was rendering this video in the wrong rendering settings. I do apologize, but hopefully this should look a little bit nicer than normal since I am trying different uh, resolutions when it comes to the quality of my videos. Anyway, let's get back to the main point of this video. Like I said, today I do want to talk about HDR. Is HDR gaming worth it? And what do I think about HDR? Because recently I did get a chance to try out HDR and I want to talk about my experiences when it comes to HDR specifically. Now, if you don't know anything about HDR, HDR stands for high dynamic range and basically the sum up what HDR means it pretty much means colors on the screen are gonna pop more and be more vibrant so overall colors are gonna look much more nicer honestly when it comes to gaming not every single game out there even on current gen hardware does support HDR and not every piece of hardware supports HDR as well so if you're holding on to the original Xbox one or the original PS4 that came out in 2013 you're not going to be getting HDR support at all because those consoles just do not support HDR unfortunately however if you do own the new Xbox One S and the uh, updated PS4 Slim that were also $300 that just came out many years ago, then you will be able to get HDR support. So that's flat out fantastic right there. You don't even have to step up to the more premium Xbox uh, One X or the uh, PS4 Pro to get HDR. Granted, you're not going to be getting 4K resolutions out of the PS4 Slim or the Xbox One S. At least you will be getting HDR support. Now, when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. Unfortunately, the Nintendo Switch will not be getting HDR support at all because it's just not powerful enough to get HDR. So keep that in mind. If you're a Nintendo Switch owner, you're not going to be getting any form of HDR. I just want to make this clear. And if you're on the PC side of gaming, you will be able to get HDR depending on your setup, depending if you're on uh, what TV, what monitor, and depending on what game it is, you will be getting HDR. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about HDR. You have to have an HDR compatible TV. You also have, a, have to have an HDR compatible game. And then on top of that, you do have to have HDR compatible hardware. So make sure you know what you have before you say you've truly experienced HDR. But I do want to talk about my experience with HDR or high dynamic range. Overall, my experiences have been flat out fantastic when it comes to HDR in video games. Now I do have to be honest with you guys, it will vary from person to person. How well do you notice different things? But for me personally, when it comes to resolutions of screens, when it comes to colors and things like that, I can definitely notice the difference. And for me personally, I definitely can notice the difference from a non HDR game to an HDR compatible game. And overall, my experiences have been flat out fantastic. I'm not going to sit here and try to lie to you guys i won't say that my experiences have been mind-blowing it's not a mind-blowing experience and you of course definitely don't need hdr but i think for what you're getting you're definitely getting an, a very enhanced version of a game that you've already played or already liked because that little hdr does actually add a little bit more immersion when it comes to the video game you can really get immersed in the actual experience now when it comes to hdr in video games specifically i will have to be 100 honest with you guys not every video game game that does support HDR looks the same because some developers know how to use HDR and some developers don't really know how to use HDR so basically what ends up happening is you get different quality of HDR in your video games and of course it will also always depend on what type of display do you have because not every display is gonna represent colors the best so if you buy like a mid-tier uh, TV that supports HDR compared to a 
very expensive TV that supports HDR, most likely, of course, your experience will be different depending on the quality of your monitor or TV. So there's a lot of different things to take in consideration of how well the HDR is going to be represented on your TV. But for me personally, I've been playing a lot of uh, PS4 games on an HDR TV and the HDR TV that I've been using uh, for myself personally have been a pretty mid-tier uh, TV when it comes to uh, TV. The TV that I have is about five to six hundred dollars. You can see it's not the most expensive thing in the world, but it's not the most cheapest thing in the world. So you, overall, my experience has been pretty good with this HDR TV. But like I said before, going back to HDR specifically, I think HDR does add a little bit to the experience and it definitely is noticeable in my eyes. And if you haven't tried HDR for yourself, I really highly suggest checking out HDR for the uh, first time. It may actually, you may actually end up Liking it as much as uh, you think you do now unfortunately in this video I can't show you what HDR looks like because unfortunately I have no way to capture HDR footage I know that there is ways to capture HDR footage on game consoles or the PC but I cannot show you HDR unfortunately luckily enough for you guys I do have you covered I will try to leave a link down in the description below for the good friends at Digital Foundry because Digital Foundry did pull through and recently, I mean like recently in the last couple of days, they finally did a video of the top best looking HDR compatible games that really do show off HDR and of course when you watch that video, make sure you have an HDR compatible monitor or TV or smartphone because if you don't do that, you won't be seeing HDR on that video at all so it's pointless to even watch it at that point if you don't have an HDR display but make sure you have an HDR display and you are going to be good to go when it comes to watching that digital foundry video specifically now I want to answer one question in this video as well is HDR worth going out of your way to actually buy a TV that has HDR again it harkens back to person to person preference how well do you find the experience with HDR can you even notice the difference does do you think the uh, difference between a non HDR game and an HDR game are that significant to where you feel like you need HDR the good thing about today's market with TVs and monitors that do support HDR the very nice thing is the fact that HDR TVs and monitors as a whole have been coming down in price and you don't have to spend close to a grand to get HDR anymore you can spend lower money now so I am glad the price of HDR compatible TVs and monitors are finally going down but the best way I can sum up HDR is it's pretty much like icing on the cake it's kind of like 4k do you need a 4k compatible game they're very nice looking games but you don't necessarily need them and I think you're still going to be okay with 1080p uh, non HDR games I think those are flat out still fantastic experience but there is something to be said with HDR and ultimately I'm having a very fun time with HDR now before I had a head out of this video I do want to say that I did recently try a couple of games that do support HDR now keep in mind they are gonna be on PS4 since I am a PS4 user and then on top of that these two games that I'm playing are actually on the PS4 uh, slim not the ps4 pro since i don't own the ps4 uh pro i only own the ps4 slim so take that into consideration when i'm actually talking about my experiences but the two games i actually tried are one is horizon horizon does support hdr and horizon zero dawn is flat out fantastic when it comes to hdr representation you do have to keep in mind when it comes to developer to developer like i said not every developer makes hdr the same across the board it's kind of like graphics just because you have a 1080p game doesn't mean all 1080p games are going to look exactly the same but HDR in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is flat out amazing and everybody will tell you that game is one game that really shines with HDR enabled especially the environment and especially the lighting effects especially if you love uh, outdoor environments if you also love good lighting effects in your video games then you're really going to appreciate the HDR uh, quality of Horizon Zero Dawn and the, and the the uh, guys at Guerrilla Games really did a flat out fantastic job of really showcasing what HDR brings to the table when it comes to video games and I'm just so happy with my experience with HDR in Horizon Zero Dawn. Now the next game I'm actually going to talk about is Borderlands because I did want to check out Borderlands. Now a long time ago it did not support HDR but recently it did get a 
4K HDR patch and you can play this with HDR and the one I've been testing out specifically is not the pre-sequel and not Borderlands 1. I've been playing Borderlands 2 just to check out the HDR. I wanted to try it out for a little bit and what I can say is HDR is flat out fantastic in the game. Unfortunately with Borderlands specifically, I can admit Borderlands probably is not the best representation of HDR just because that game specifically is a shell shaded game so that game is already trying to be cartoony in the first place and since that game is trying to be specifically cartoony in the first place it's not the best representation of HDR but what I can say is I'm loving my experience with HDR in Borderlands 2 it's pretty top-notch and overall I definitely noticed the difference but if I had to choose between HDR in Borderlands 2 versus Horizon Horizon will win any day since the graphics of that game are trying to be more realistic over all the environments flat out better it's not a shell shaded game or maybe it is correct me if I'm wrong but as far as I know and from my eyes it's not a shell shaded game and overall my experiences with that so if you can only play one out of the two games I recently tried out in HDR I would take Horizon Zero Dawn any day that's the best implementation from what two games I played recently of HDR support so before I head out of this video is HDR necessary no is HDR bring some Thing fresh to the table yes it definitely makes you more immersed in the experience and overall it, it makes the colors pop and overall it's just an, a thought out great experience if you have not tried out HDR I highly recommend trying out HDR for yourself so you can really get the full experience for yourself because even watching any video or any videos on the net of HDR is still not going to be the real experience since you do have to watch it through the internet and you have to worry about speeds and you have to worry about videos being down sampled when it comes to the internet so check out HDR for yourself but that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to talk about when it comes to HDR or high dynamic games in video games anyway guys this is Wayne from my tech news signing out